the way I'm gonna edit, I'll be like, here one second, then here one second, then here one second, and you're just gonna be like... That might go in the video. <laughs> Do you need an iron grip? That'd make it better, bud. Oh, thanks, man. I don't know what was going on there. According to their commercials, this will fix anything, though. That's what we hear. We're here to find out and take a little taste test here on the Cock and Block. Cock and Block. All right, we're back. Today we're going to be trying Scotland's most popular beverage. Uh, well, maybe not beverage, but soda. Soda, uh, yeah. So, yeah. And it's Iron Brew. I originally saw the package and kept mispronouncing it as Urn Brew. Urn Brew. It took Urn me a Brew. while to stop calling it Iron Brew. And the only reason I did, because I saw the commercials. We're actually really glad that we, we stopped saying Urn Brew before we made this video. Yeah, <laughs> Iron Brew. We probably should, shouldn't be so transparent. But, you know, it is what it is. Hey. So, Iron Brew. Iron Brew. It looks great. It's very orange. It's, it's very ginger. Orange. Ginger? That's yeah. the flavor? No, it's the color. It's like ginger oh, hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is ginger. You're right. Which is very Scottish. You know, there's a lot of ginger Scottish folks. A lot of that's true. Yeah, not just the Irish. Very true. So cool. So, all right. So, um, again, it's a soda that we don't get very much here in the United States. I had to order it off yeah, of special Amazon. Order it, right? Yeah. yeah. Can't find it in our stores, but you can find it on Amazon. And, um, yeah, so we're going to take a taste of it and tell you kind of how it compares to the other ones. But, like I said, mostly well-known here in the States for their funny commercials. Brewed in Scotland to a secret recipe since 1901. That's a long recipe. time. That's at least, like, 20 years. Long time. It's, uh, maybe 120 years. <laughs> it's a long time. you got to respect that. How long has Coca-Cola been around? Um, I don't know. Like that long, say right? on the bottle? I don't think it does. I should know this. I used to work for Coca-Cola. Uh -huh. Oh, bad me. Uh, this, um, I when I went and picked up uh, these sodas today, they didn't have a regular Coca-Cola. They had like a diet or something. Mm -hmm. um, this, I don't know if they sell these around the country, the United States, but that's a special. Can I see that one? Yeah. That is a special Mexican Coke. Oh, is that Mexican Coke? Yeah. and uh, Yeah, it is. So here in California, we really get excited about these because they taste so good. So if you come to California and somebody asks for Mexican Coke, it's the best. Don't take it the wrong way. Yeah. I, well, they're likely talking about this. As I said, I work for Coca-Cola, so I got to try a lot of variety of Cokes from different areas and my favorite. It's because it's real sugar, right? Yeah, maybe it's, it's cane sugar. It's not. It's not a sweetener. The actual ingredients they have yeah. is proper sugar. So proper, it's just proper sugar. It's better. Oh, so, think? Should we? Yeah, let's go ahead and taste. Iron to all our Scottish, our millions of Scottish viewers, we love you all. Yes. This is dedicated to you. Hey, look at that. Recycle. Hey, you guys me. are so nice. Very responsible with the recycle me right on that. I like uh, that. I like that a lot. Good thing. Got a nice fizz. Got a nice fizz. Solid fizz. I like it. It only has half sugar. It has half natural sugar and then half uh, artificial sweetener. And that's what makes it lower in calorie than any of these others. I know what it tastes like. What does it taste like? It just hit me. It's good. It's so good. It's like a mix of half ginger ale and half big red. Half ginger ale. Half big, big red. red. Tell me I'm wrong. No, I think that you're right. You picture it, right? It's got that I, cinnamony hint of cinnamon. I describe it as going to the movies, and you've got your Sprite, and you've got your Red Vines or Twizzlers or whatever red licorice you have, and you bite off the top and the bottom of the red licorice. Use it as and a straw. And then you drink the Sprite through you that. Use it. Yeah. yeah. So you kind of get both flavors oh. at once. Excuse me. That's an amazing flavor. I think Iron Brew kind of captures it. I'm getting a little bit of that red licorice with a yeah. bit of kind of a Sprite flavor. And we've already tried all of these other yeah, uh, sodas, by the way, to do a comparison earlier. We didn't want to do that. I mean, we, we live here. We These are all our staples. These are our, our go-tos. Um, we also had some Uritos earlier. That's the one we forgot. Um, yeah. 
Here in California, there's a n another product in Mexico called Uritos. It's a soda, spelled with a J. It's really good. Their Mandarin orange one is kind of a competitor to Crush. It's actually miles better than better. Crush. Yeah, it's better. Because it's just like Crush, but minus the chemical. What do you think compared to all of these? Um, you don't have to necessarily rank them all, but where would you place this? Out of, what do we have, eight sodas here, or seven sodas here? Yeah. I would say that Iron Brew is clearly better than Crush, mm -hmm. Pepsi, mm -hmm. uh, Mountain Dew, and Dr. Pepper for me. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe in the same range as a Dr. Pepper and Coke for me. One thing that we talk about sometimes, Josh and I, is the fact that certain sodas have changed over the years. Mm -hmm. I, when I was a kid, I tell you, the, I always tell the story, but it's because it was so special to me. When I was a kid, my grandpa had a little farmhouse in Iowa, Adel, Iowa, and they had a basement. And when he'd walk down in the basement, that little shelf on the side, he'd have like six packs of bottled soda like that. And he'd have Mountain Dew. And that was the only time I ever had Mountain Dew. And it was, it was like in the 80s, like 85 yeah. maybe, 84, 5. So, so, so good. good. Yeah. And this tastes nothing like it. So that being said, this lineup is sort of divided for me into two factions. There are the sodas that, like, when I was younger, this used to be my absolute favorite. I just can't stand it anymore. There are sodas that are actual sodas here, and then there are sodas that are, like, chemical swill <laughs> that I won't drink. I'm not kidding. Yeah. Chemical swill, I won't drink it. Uh, that's really good. The Coca-Cola is really yeah, good. Yeah, Mexican Coke is great. Dr. Dr. Pepper's good. good. There's a There's a... Texans will know Dublin Dr. Pepper, and that's like Dr. Pepper's version of Mexican Coke. It's, oh, I see. it's cane sugar. It's very good. Yeah. Garbage. 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 used to really like it, but you know, last time I had it, I was very disappointed. Yeah, it was terrible. Mm -hmm. I don't like Pepsi anymore either. Sprite, Sprite Seven Sprite's Up are wonderful. Solid. They're solid. I would um, say I don't like Seven Up as much anymore, but I like Sprite still. Um, Crush is terrible unless it's mixed with one thing, and that one thing is. Malibu! <laughs> Malibu uh, is the only way to save a good crush. It will save some crush if yeah. you put some Malibu in there, for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. A lot of Malibu. You want this just for the color, basically. Basically just for the color. And so people don't think you're a lush. You know what? And just so you're not drinking uh, just straight pure, rum. Pure pure rum, yeah. Pure sweet rum. Yeah. you got to have a little <laughs> bit of, of citric acid. So this will take care of that. This used to be so good, just like Mountain Dew. When we were kids, you remember that? You'd get it in yeah. a glass bottle. It was oh, so good. It. Ugh, loved it. I would go. This is better than this, better than this. Miles better than this. Be as good as Dr. Pepper. Um, maybe not quite as good as the Coca-Cola. I don't think anything's quite, yeah. quite as good as the Coca-Cola. I would say it's better than a Fanta. Yeah, we don't I have a Fanta, Fanta on the table, but I think it's better than a You're Fanta. Right. I'd say this is comparable to a Uritos or comparable yep. to a Sprite. I agree. I think it's yeah. comparable to a Uritos Sprite. It's good. Hey, Scotland, and it should be here. You 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 have us uh, convinced on the Iron Brew. So to all, to all of our Scottish viewers and friends, we love it. Um, we and, do. And 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 if you start selling it here, we'll yeah, buy it we'll and buy it. we'll mix it. Oh yeah, with Malibu. Malibu. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> maybe we'll, about maybe, it, that might maybe, not be maybe so. we'll use better rum. I mean, it's possible. Anyway, so actually, think think of that with some kraken. It's got a bit of spice to it. I might have it with some kraken right now. You know what, Matt? I think I'm gonna go do that right now. So, on that I'm note, see you later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like, and, like subscribe. and subscribe. We like you. Yeah, just like, just us, like back. us back. We really like you. <laughs> We're not gonna stop. Like and subscribe.